When I ask candidates the worst part about finding a new job, it's always the interview process. It can be intimidating, it is awkward, it is long, there's a lack of communication, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the second worst part of finding a new job is always the application process. You spend so much time making sure your resume looks good, it is typo free, it does a good job of showing everything that it is you've done in your previous roles, you upload it into um, the company's application process, and then they ask you to fill out basically all the information that is already in your resume, and it takes forever, and you have to go through it, and it is annoying. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get a new job without applying online. What I'm going to show you is a strategy in which you can engage with hiring managers and create a conversation completely independent on whether or not they have a job or not. Now my strategy is LinkedIn related, so if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, create one, and if you have a LinkedIn profile, make sure it is top notch. The strategy today is going to revolve around connecting with hiring managers on LinkedIn, and because you're going to do that, it is a high likelihood they're gonna to go to your LinkedIn profile, and you wanna make sure it is fantastic, because if you have a great LinkedIn profile and they look at it and they see the impact you have made in other organizations and how, quiet, um, how high quality of a candidate you might be, it's going to increase the likelihood they want to engage with you and ultimately hire you. Now, if you do not have a great LinkedIn profile, go down to the description box. There's actually a resource there. You can click there uh, for a company I've partnered with um, who will help you with, the, um, they'll help you with your resume, they'll help you with your LinkedIn profile, and if you mention Ben Talks Talent, they'll give you a 10% discount. But first things first, make sure your LinkedIn is in order. Now secondly, you find a hiring manager um, for a company you like, um, and maybe they have a job, maybe they don't, but you find a, say if you're a mechanical engineer, go find the mechanical engineering manager or the engineering manager or the plant manager or whatever it is, if you're, whatever field you're in, follow those steps, right? If you're a software engineer, find the software engineering manager. Um, if you're a buyer, find the procurement manager, right? But find that person and see if they are online, see if they are on LinkedIn. So go to their profile, um, go down to activity and see if they have posted anything. Now the strategy here is kind of a longer, more intentional strategy, but if they are someone who posts, comment on a few of their posts, right? So you go, you see if they've posted anything, look for recent posts like those, and write an engaging, value-added post where you're really commenting on the things that they've said, right? So maybe they've said a post about the industry. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to comment on that. Wow, really insightful post. One of the things that I've really liked about your point is you said this, in my experience, ABC, right? The point here is you can't just write something like, wow, really interesting, thanks for sharing. You have to write something that's value added. If you need to do a little bit of research, do that. But what you wanna make sure is you're going to add a comment that is of significant value and is engaging so that you can get them to engage with you. The end result here is you want them to look at your comment, read your comment, like your comment, and then comment on your comment. And you can engage them in conversation. Now the next thing you need to do is wait just a little bit longer and wait for their next post. Send them a, an invite after two or three comments. So, you know, you keep commenting on their stuff, right? So they say another post uh, tomorrow and then you comment on it and you write an engaging, long comment that is value added um, and you do this a couple times. So my recommendation is you do this anywhere from three to five times and then you send them a LinkedIn invite. In that LinkedIn invite, you can say, hey, looks like you and I are the same industry. I've really enjoyed a few of your posts that I've happened to stumble across. I'd love to be connected. They will accept that. If they are the type of person who is creating content online and they are posting on LinkedIn, they will accept that invite if you have written several value added positive um, comments on their posts. Now, once you've done that, you've commented a few times, what do you do now after you sent the invite? You do the same thing. You comment a couple more times. Now you're connected, a few more posts, you comment. Remember, they're value added, they're robust, they're engaging. The end game of every single one of your posts is that they engage with you further. So what have you done? Maybe over the course of a month, what you have done is you've maybe built a relation uh, relationship with a person who is in a position of power in a company you are interested in. That right there is a strategy. Now here's what you have to do next. Next, you're gonna send them a message on LinkedIn. So at this point, you've been engaging with them for maybe a month, right? They've had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine posts in which you've commented, you've engaged, you've said, um, you know, you've shared thoughts um, that they responded to. You have basically built a relationship. This person knows who you are. Um, you are no longer a stranger, you are a person in this person's network who is connected. Now I'm gonna break this message into three parts. The first part is the intention, the second part is the pitch, 
And then the final part is a call to action. So I'm actually gonna put this all in the description box. So feel free to go down to the description box at the end of this, but I'm gonna talk through it first because I think it's really important to understand what you're trying to accomplish here. So just imagine, I'm gonna give some examples, but you'd wanna fill in your own, um, your own background, experience, and, and how it's applicable to you. But I'm just gonna put my own stuff in there for the messaging purposes. But you say something along the lines of, hi Ben, I'm interested in joining your organization because of its reputation in the market and the important nature of the work you do. I have 12 years experience as a results driven, passionate TA professional um, who is focused on leadership in both um, internal recruitment and third party agency recruitment, right? So that's the first part, intention. It's a little bit, I wanna join your organization because, and here's me. Now the second part is a pitch. So you wanna get deeper into why you are compelling. So you go, as a member of a large talent, um, talent development organization, um, I've been responsible for building blank, uh, using blank technology, which, and then you follow it up with a success story, right? So basically, the, the pitch is an opportunity for you to talk about yourself, what type of organization you've been a part of, what you've done, how you've done it, and the impact of what you've done. Now, you can make this your own. I'm gonna drop kind of a skeleton again in the description box so you can make it your own. But basically, what you're doing is you are hard selling yourself in a short um, paragraph. Now, finally, it is the hiring called action. You say, I have attached my resume and a link to my LinkedIn profile and a portfolio for your consideration. This is if you have a portfolio. If you don't have a portfolio, obviously don't say that. Um, and then you say, I would love to have a conversation with you or a member of your team. So what you did there is a three-part thing. You said, I wanna join your organization. Here's a hard pitch on who I am and the value I bring. And three, here's a call to action. Here's what I would like to happen. Um, and that is basically the process. The next thing I would do is determine a follow-up schedule. So I would say a week from them. If you haven't heard from this hiring manager, reach out in a week, say, hi, this is Ben. I wanted to follow up on this. I know I reached out to you to Blue. I don't even know if you're hiring, but I would still love to have a networking conversation with you or talk about any roles potentially you have open on your team. That's how I would follow up. If they don't answer that, one week later, I would try again. Hey, I know you're busy, but I did want to tap you in the shoulder again. I am still very interested in your organization and would love to have the chance to connect. If they don't answer that, I would maybe wait a month and I would reach out again. So this is the strategy. If you're active on LinkedIn and most professionals are, make sure you have a great, um, like a great LinkedIn profile. Make sure you have the luxury of time. Over the course of a month, you can slowly build and ultimately leverage a relationship with a hiring manager, comment on their stuff, engage with them, build that relationship, and then reach out to them about your interest um, in potentially joining your team. The, the interesting thing about this is it is a slow build, but if you reach the point of candidacy, you will have so much more equity. Normally, you just apply to a role and it is up to um, chance, right? Does the recruiter see your resume and your application? Do they like what they see? Do they call you? Do you talk to them? Do they like you when you talk to them? And ultimately, you get passed to the hiring manager. This strategy takes a different approach and it's all about engaging with them, um, building that relationship and finding a backdoor way into the organization. Now, some of you who are still here, thank you for watching. You're probably saying, well, Ben, in order for this to work, they have to be active on LinkedIn. Yes, that is absolutely true. But hiring managers in every single industry, in companies coast to coast and worldwide, are more increasingly active on LinkedIn because the platform is rewarding that and it's incentivizing people um, to use it as a content distribution platform. So this, this strategy in general will be more and more viable um, in the future here. So I would highly recommend it. So step one, create a great LinkedIn profile. Make sure that when they land on your LinkedIn profile, it is something you are proud of and it showcases what you bring to the table. Find people who work for organizations that you have interest to be a part of proactively reach out to them, engage on their content. Once you've done that enough, um, send the connection request, send them the message, and then work your way into their lives. Um, and this is a really good strategy to get noticed and maybe even get hired for a position that doesn't exist today. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your next interview. You got this.